facts that we get the PayPal messages and that let's do this. This is going to be our timeline. These are going to be days. Make it easy. Okay. We get the PayPal messages. This is AZ's uh, point. And then she says, like, somewhere around here, the hard docs happens. Oh, you better stop that right this instant. Wow. There truly is not any other way to present this latest tantrum by the ever devolving uni rock. So, here we go. My God. With basically trying to go find streams where I said something and then going, well, you had to have lied here. And I'm telling them I didn't lie anywhere and I'll prove it to you if you just bring your. Why won't you do it publicly? Because I can't speak publicly. Ah. Uh. There is that strange game of charm absolutely nobody fucking wants. Notice this? So they have purposely lied to you all, wielded my silence as some sort of weapon by lying, by trying to pretend it's for deceptive or deceitful reasons. Not Has anyone told him that he's a liar? Or are we all assuming he accepts this being as truth? Being honest, that I can't speak not because of any of that, but because my lawyer won't let me. And they are using that to generate and keep pushing drama. And if that wasn't true, they would have brought their asses into my server. They would have reached out. They would have done something. They would have actually been concerned when I told them, you guys are wrong, and I'll prove it to you. They So... Do you just continue to repeat the same thing over and over again until it becomes the truth? Is this similar to interrogation tactics of the United States military? Have you been hiding in your mum's basement plotting and scheming this entire time? Never mind. You ran from that. No, not when AZ was kicked from the space or as I... Uh, You've got a whole ass girlfriend who most likely isn't agreeable to your misplaced anger toward another woman. Never mind. Again. Uh, no, for a fact, she was removed from speaking, not the entire space. She could have just had a bug. I didn't kick her, though, because if I woulda, she'd be blocked. I didn't block her. I didn't block her on Twitter. That's how you got to do that. That one girl I kicked out is blocked on my account. Are you out of vape juice? You fucking... Never mind. But anyway, we're not here to talk about that. Let me read the... Oh, let, was there a second one? You are not okay. Marlon Brando. You kicked Brando. others for using a laughing or thumbs down emoji, bro. You're sensitive. I'm not sensitive. I was doing what I saw these other creators do. And by the way, Random Kitten, you never called them sensitive. Hold on now. Nonsense never got any pushback for literally kicking my... You know, some of my mods and people... You are actually quite the bit. Never mind. People in her chat that were tell that were proving to her while making sure that it was a completely appropriate, making sure that they said things that could not be warped into attacks or into trolling or into negativity at all, making sure that they were presented positively the facts to show where nonsense was wrong and nonsense kicked them. So why in the world can't I go by that same standard? Oh, I see because you're judging me on things that number one don't even mean anything because I'm allowed to kick whoever the fuck I want and if it pisses you off- Oh look at you. Pretending to not be a raging man child. So lovely. Unsub from me or Just whatever. Go swell. make a video and get mad about it. I don't care. I'll kick whoever I want. Especially when they're in the little AZ club of um, disrespectful people because y'all forgot something this whole time. I have been doxxed since the very beginning of this situ situation, this entire issue. My family and I have been doxxed this whole time. I can finally talk about some things. I finally, like Monday, was supposed to talk to my lawyer and figure some stuff out. Interesting. You will speak your shite on this platform. Yet, you have absolutely no regard for your years-long YouTube subscribers. I do wonder why? Oh, but I know. 
And you know I know. It ended up being Wednesday. But thank God it happened. So now I can come in and actually speak some of this with you about some things. I can talk On about JLR doxing my parents. You have lost the I can talk about JLR support. doxing me. Do go I can on. talk about him lying about my parents' records, lying about my record, going out and defaming me. And So, you are not going to just admit you were terrified of JLR. So, you lied. You just lied, Jason. I will again draw this last point out because I know there's going to be a lot of these YouTubers that only get like a three second clip of what I'm saying so that they can go and lie to all of you again. And I don't even give a fuck. Let them do it till the cows come home. None of this is skin off my back. Me being in that community was an option. It was to help. If you don't believe me, you can watch any of my videos while I was in that community. I helped people the entire time I was there. They're going to grab two, three, four second clips so they can try to lie to you all and convince you that I'm lying about something else. My point is that from the... Gr okay, so a okay, first is AZ's argument. Then it is to relook at the situation after knowing this fact. The first fact is AZ claims that these are the facts, that we get the PayPal messages and that... Let's do this. Jason, stop it. This is embarrassing. This is going to be our timeline. These are going to be days. Take it easy. Okay. We get the PayPal messages. This is AZ's uh, point. And then she says, like, somewhere around here, the hard docs happens. What kind of presentation is this? Hard docs. Though the evidence online... Literally, some of my enemies are confused at why people who asshole. used to like me That's are lying what? about this right now. The, the actual evidence out in the community proves that the hard docs happened here. And Your hard trees mean nothing, Jason. The erect trees mean absolutely fucking nothing. Because all they're doing is lying and trying to convince and leaving out facts and leaving out evidence and just weaponizing what they had. They're turning their uh, channels into weapons against people that they don't like now because those people wouldn't do exactly what they wanted those people to do. I hate everything about you. Is there any coincidence there? This all started when they got pissed off that I actually called out heels for threatening to strike my channel. I didn't stay quiet. I applied the same rules that I would apply to Molly to what heels had done, right? Actually, no. Rachel expressed an issue with heels. And you tossed your own girlfriend directly under the bus. But Now, I tried to be on. nice about it. I made sure not to just go out and blast her or anything. I did it very politely. I made sure to let people know not to get mad at her, not to unsubscribe. All of it's on my channel. And I said it was a mistake. Let it go. But if we're going to let it go for them... They're supposed to let go of their anger, their vengeful, you know, emotions. They won't. They're not going to. They won't. First off, absolutely no person owes you a damned thing. Next off, shut up already, mate. This is cringe at the most epic level. When they lost Molly, they lost their content. I'm on your side and it happens since day one. Ellen, you don't have to be on my side for you to be here. But oh, I know yes, you, you are, do. And, and I appreciate you, right? If, if that's what you think, we'll just stream it. We will. So we've got a couple new games to choose from, we've, and, and that way you guys can think about what I'm going to play. we got Darkest Dungeon 2, which is where you're in this... You're traveling around in a sword and shield and rogues and, and sorcery and magic kind of place, but you're traveling in a stagecoach trying to go from town to town and kill these evil things. It's really neat. When a fucking robot cat has to tell you to go grab a firm hold on to some form of reality, you've lost the plot. Wow. Mind, Uni is not going to turn down revenue every day from streaming and not engage with us. He won't do it. Because we'll just attack the living shit out of him if he does it and doesn't talk about us. We'll just keep lying on him and going at him if he, if he moves on, right? 
And the last thing Uni will do because he cares about money so much is actually take a break, listen to his lawyer, do what he's supposed to. No, that's exactly what I did. Everyone. Where? Where did you do any of this? Said that I'm all about the money and all this garbage lied. They should be apologizing by now. They are incapable of apologizing. They are incapable of admitting any truth to any point. Now, what did I just do? I have repeated many of the same points on purpose right now. As I see people leaving and more people coming in, I'm repeating the same points on purpose so that they can't twist my words. I have been doxxed and harassed since the PayPal messages. The people that did it outed themselves by sharing everything literally the next day. No, Uni wasn't doxxed at all. It doesn't matter if it was posted publicly. It still isn't a dox. Wait a minute. You're literally now going against your own argument of doxing. Right? I'm repeating myself on purpose. General Hen leading the the uh, cackling masses here. Here's the, here's the best one right there. You, you got your uh, nonsense. You got your heels. You got your others. You know, unfortunately, like rabbits down here. Then they got all these people falling around. Cackle, 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 throwing insults around. They think that they're just like the bomb.com, right? They think they're like the best creators ever, man. Yeah. Yeah, things were going really good for all of you guys about a year ago, wasn't it? You are such a gigantic baby. Stop it.